Okay, today we're going to do a little silver testing. I just like to, to make sure that everybody knows what the process is like before they come in the shop, if, if possible. Um, just so you can see how it works and what to expect if your silver is good or, or not considered real silver. I have two test pieces today. A um, Native American style sterling uh, hard bracelet. This one is marked st sterling right here. No reason to believe that it's not sterling, but we'll, we'll test just to so, show the example of a positive sterling test. And then uh, the other example we have today is a chain, a uh, broken chain that you might think is sterling. Um, in this case, this is going to be the test for showing what's the negative because I know it's not sterling. So um, I'm just going to get right to it. Uh, before I do that, just want to let you know this is acid. Uh, this is not stuff you play with. It's pretty nasty if you get it on your hands. So do not, do not mess around with this stuff unless you know what you're doing. All right, the first step is we take the piece that we're going to test right here, and we make a rub on our previously enjoyed stone here. Actually, it's a piece of glass. Uh, you can see the other marks that just haven't come off. Not all of them come off. In any case, I'm going to make it right in the middle here. You want to make something that's going to look right, just like this. Does not hurt the the piece. It makes a very gentle rub. This feels smooth to the touch. It's very, very smooth, and it's just just when it takes a very slight little piece of the metal off to allow for the test. And it's again, it doesn't do anything at all to the piece. Um, now we take the the acid, we place it on the mark that we've just made, just enough. You don't want to, you don't need much. Then you take a take the just basically any napkin or paper towel. And you wipe it, you, and you expect to see basically like a, um, a blood mark on, on this paper towel here. So you do the wipe, and you look, and there you have it. It looks very much, almost a little too much like blood on a paper towel. So there you have it. That is a positive test. Now for our other piece right here. Let's say that you thought that this was sterling, um, and you wanted to test for sterling you would take basically do a rub same thing nice rub right here, this is the one we're using do the same exact process you can already see that it's a little different you then do the same process, you just take the little small piece of paper towel, you wipe, and here you see nothing but the acid. And in this case, it may not be, yeah, you can kind of see it on camera, it's turning blue. And blue actually indicates nickel, that means that there's a high, a high amount of nickel in this piece. This is actually gold fill. Um, so gold fill has got a very low low percentage of gold in it, but I just wanted to use this as a test to show you what it, the negative is for uh, for sterling. Um, and again, if it was copper, you could see green. If you um, a lot of different colors come as reactions from this test. So